Hello everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing with three of the new Spellbinders Club kits. We are going to be using the embossing folder. We're also going to be using the glimmer foil or the glimmer plate and the foil of the month. And we're also going to be using the small die of the month. Now I'm only going to really show you the cards, like how to make the cards for the glimmer foil. Um, but I will show you the card that I made at the end using the small die and we'll, you know, I'll show you all the dies. So there are lots of club kits and I will have a link down below so you can go check that out if you're new to this. Uh, but I'm going to show you three. So let's get started with cutting down our foil. I have a piece of cardstock that measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And what I need to do is I need to um, cut down some of my foil. This is some blush foil. And I think everybody, there's no like guarantee exactly what color you're going to get uh, in when you get this kit. But it, it is a great way to build up your foil stash. I will just say that. Um, and I so far haven't, I don't think I've gotten really any repeats and I've been getting these now for quite a while. All right. So I'm cutting down my foil using my quick trimmer, which I feel like is just a must. Um, yeah, I just have to have that. Otherwise serrated scissors are the only other way to do it. So this, <laughs> that didn't do it straight, but this is my favorite way to cut that foil. All right, now, like I said, I have a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I've got my Glimmer Hot Foil system heating up right now. I've built the sandwich for my uh, my sentiment, and I'll, I'll go through that in a little bit here. But I'm going to need to um, score this at four and a quarter. So again, eight and a half inches by five and a half inches scored at four and a quarter. I'm not actually going to fold it. I just want to know where that bottom is so I can put my foil pretty side up on top and then put my foil with the foiling bit down. I like to use mint tape to tack everything in place and then I'll flip this over and stick that down on my hot foil system while it's heating up. It's not going to hurt it. I'm waiting for that green light to come on and while I'm waiting for that green light to come on, which it just did, so I'll hit the timer button, I'm going to cut down some other foil for the other one I plan to do and this is just some black foil. Now, as you can see, that green light stopped flashing, so it's ready. I'll put my Glimmer Hot Foil plates on top of that and then run that through my Platinum 6 uh, machine. And then we'll, careful, because those plates are going to be hot. So I'll just show you what I got going on here. The I'm Truly Grateful, it foiled perfectly. And you'll see that the flowers, which I love these sunflowers. There's something about sunflowers. Maybe it's because we lived in Kansas for a couple of years. Oh. If you could ever go see a sunflower field, I highly recommend it. So that did a really good job. Now I need to do the black foil. And this plate's still a little hot. I recommend letting that cool before you attach it down. I am going to put it down onto some green cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So this is an A2 sized card. And I'm just putting that down how I want it to go down. And I will tell you, I'm putting this down onto some textured cardstock. So that you take a risk with that. Um, doing all the same things. I have my foil, you know, pretty side facing up and then I stick it all down on top of my Glimmer Hot Foil system. Once that is heated up, we run it through our machine. And then you're going to see that uh, because I did this on some textured cardstock, I, it didn't foil perfectly and I knew it wouldn't and I'm actually very okay with that. That might not have necessarily been the look I was going for, but I am absolutely okay with it. It did a very good job of foiling it. But keep in mind, that's textured. And I wanted the texture because I plan to color this using some Prismacolor pencils. Prismacolor on dark cardstock is gorgeous if you have never done that before. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you actually have, so you know where I'm going with this. I'm only going to show you the coloring of one flower because it's all basically the same. I'm putting down my lightest yellow first for the petals, and then I'll come in with a little bit darker color at the very top and just kind of blend that in. I'm not going real hard. I like the texture that that textured cardstock leaves behind, so I don't want to cover that. Um, if I didn't want the texture, I probably would have done it on the other side of this cardstock, which is some smooth cardstock. Do not ask me what this kind of cardstock is. I had it in my stash, and I have been stamping for well over 20 years, so who knows how old this cardstock is. It could be some basil for, for all I know. Uh, all I know is that I do enjoy the texture because I feel like that just adds a little something something to that background. Okay, so we'll finish up our petals 
and then I'm going to color in the center of our flower. We've got some dark and then we're going to bring in a lighter color. And then for the leaves, since our background is green, I'm only putting just a little bit of green down. Just some light areas where I think some highlights might be. We're going to let the natural color of that cardstock do the rest. And I am happy with this. I, in the end, am so happy with how this has turned out. It just makes me so, so happy. Okay, so that was the coloring of that. This other one I colored with um, some alcohol markers, and I love how that turned out as well. But check this out. The die that goes along, or the two dies that go along with this glimmer plate will cut out your sentiment and also the very tops of your flowers. So that's why I wanted to make a gatefold card. So we'll run this through our die cutting machine and then take off those dies. And they cut everything, of course, wonderfully. But check this out. Isn't that neat? I love that. And you could just trim that down and then put that on the front of an A2 size card, but I'm going to take it a step further. We're going to turn this into a gate fold. So I'll just make sure that that fold is nice and secure. We have another piece of cardstock that is another A2 size. And then I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of green cardstock that I'm running through with the embossing folder. Uh, follow the directions of your machine and I'm running it through my, my platinum six. And then we'll get this beautiful textured leaves. I think these leaves are great. They're obviously perfect for fall, but I think they'd work really well for spring and summer as just depending on what colors you use. So I'm putting those into my makeshift splatter box and then we're going to use some gold paint because yeah, <laughs> I love me some splatter if you didn't know. So I'm going to splatter that all over those green backgrounds. Um, so happy with how this is turning out. Like I can just feel my heart just like expanding as I watch this because I love me some splatter. And then you're going to want to let that kind of dry. So uh, if you can't wait and you're not patient, then use some, uh, use your heat tool or a, um, maybe your hair um, dryer, whatever you need. But I'm going to attach this piece down to the front of this A2 size cart. And then I'm going to trim just a tiny hair off the front of that. So it's attached to the white. I trimmed off just a tiny bit of that. The only reason for that is because you want everything to be nice and flush when you attach this together. And I'm trying to think of how I want to do that. I am going to take this white piece with the flowers on it and I'm going to trim off the long edge, just a, just a hair, like it's barely noticeable. Um, you would probably not really notice at all. And then we're going to put some glue on the inside of this A2 card. And then we're going to attach down this piece to it so it will fold up like a gate. Check that out. And then we'll attach down our sentiment to the front of it. So we've got I'm truly grateful. And that'll finish off this card. And then I'll show you the other card that I made using the Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. But this plate might be one of my favorites. They made they had some tulips um, several months back, and that was fabulous too. And then let me show you the small die of the month. Yes, small die. So you can imagine the large die of the month has all kinds of dies. But this made me happy because, you know, you can make your boots however. I made mine like a soldier's boots. This would be a perfect card to send to a soldier who is deployed or maybe even a family that their soldier is deployed. But here we go. Let's take a look at those cards that I made today using just three of the card kits that Spellbinder has out. Um, and keep in mind, there's lots of other kits that you could, you could jump on or monthly club subscriptions that you could get. Um, so if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.